Hey Trinidad, it's good to be back with you. Good, good to be back with you today. And um, it's really a sad time for me. I'm, I'm reading this from the Trinidad Express. Woman kills woman stabbed in confrontation of a boyfriend. It's not worth it. Women are leading massive institutions these days, uh, large corporations. They're uh, putting themselves out there in the world of work. They are educating themselves more and more. There's no need for this. And I thought the days of women fighting over men were long gone. I really thought so. It's a sad situation and it's something that we really ought to look into. A 46 year old woman was fatally stabbed after allegedly confronting a woman who was liming with her boyfriend. First thing you are to know as a woman, if a man is somewhere liming with another woman, it means that he has an interest you are to confront him and not the woman. While some women, as they say, could be pushy and push themselves into people's relationship, the mere fact that the man is there allegedly liming with this woman means that he has an interest there to lime with her. So you ought to confront the man. That was the first thing. According to police, Keisha Blackman of Upper Carnage was walking with a female relative along X Street when around 4 a.m. they saw Blackman's boyfriend in the company of another woman. So here's another scenario. At 4 a.m. in the morning, working at 4 a.m. in the morning, they saw Blackman's boyfriend in the company of another woman. At 4 a.m. in the morning, remember how I started out? He has an interest in being there. At 4 a.m. in the morning, if your boyfriend is in the company of another woman, it says a lot about him. That's just plain and straight. Most people these days, they have common relationships, which I don't approve of, but that's just the way of the world. They live together. So 4 a.m. in the morning, you expect if he, if, if um, at her age, and I don't know what his age is, but you expect the both of them to be somewhere in a bed hugging up at 4 a.m. in the morning. But if he is in the company of another woman at 4 a.m. in the morning, it says a lot about him and his interest in you. So that's, that's another story by itself, why you should have confronted him and not the woman. They're saying that the woman was from Diego Martin and was known to the relatives. Black man and the woman got into an argument during which the other woman pulled the knife, stabbed the black man several times to the tress. So they got into an argument. And during this time, the other woman pulled out a knife and stabbed the black man several times to the chest. So, and just like that, the suspect then fled the scene according to the newspaper. Black man was taken to the St. Jane Medical Complex where she died while undergoing treatment. Simple like that, just like that, a 46 year old woman lost her life. If the boyfriend had any interest in her, really, he would not have been on the road 4 a.m. in the company of another woman. Maybe he could have been in his bed sleeping if they're not living together, but certainly not on the road in the company of another woman. It says a lot about him. And that's why she should have either confronted him or she should have walked away knowing immediately that this man has no grave interest in me, no great interest in me if he's going to be there at 4 a.m. in the morning with another woman. But in the height of emotions, people don't think. And this is something that we ought to train our children, groom them as they come up, how to handle emotions, things that pop up in the instant. Because maybe sometimes, yes, I know you can tell people a lot of things to do. We can practice how they will respond in a situation. But not until the situation arises, the real test of what you've learned comes into play and it could be hard for some people but restraint is something that we are to be teaching our children them day after day day after day day after day and even adults had to learn to start training themselves to restrain themselves from certain things she certainly based on what we're reading here appeared to have been deeply in love with this man for her to confront the woman end up in a fight being stabbed and then she dies one is in jail, one is dead, and he moves on with his life to uh, get another woman and enjoy life as it is. And this is why you really can't be placing your faith in man, because Yah says in his words, even the arms of flesh will fail you. She probably placed a lot of faith in the man about, about love, and this is the end result of it. You know, and I'm really, really disheartened to see 
women are still being treated in this manner by men and that women and women are getting into argument over men still if the man simply isn't worth it just leave him alone because just being there on the street at 4 a.m in the morning with another woman if he calls himself if he calls himself your boyfriend it means that he has no great interest really in you except maybe to have sex with you every now and then so that is something that women are to start paying attention to the relationships to get involved and how they interact with these men that they're involved with it's not a good thing i i was just it just took me off my track when i saw that and women have to learn to understand these days that look if this is the way the men are going to be behaving just watch just fall in love with yah and and when i say yeah i mean god yahuwah let him be your man he's not going to cheat on you and I could have some confidence that when you walk down the road four o'clock in the morning, you're not going to see him there with another woman. You just just find something to do better with your life instead of wasting time with these men. I mean, a lot of them are just into relationships these days for sex, and that's just the way of the world. So this is it. And um, I, I just, just pray that women continue to hold their heads high and that they do what they have to do in terms of progressing. And sometimes if you have to leave out these men and be single and do what you have to do, just do it. All right, Trinidad and Tobago, like I said, I have some information for you on the issue of um, earthquakes. There's some new information that I got, and I'm going to bring it to you tomorrow or on the weekend. I think it's important for you to know that the island is really sitting on about eight fault zones. These, these are these, it's a lot of information that I uncovered, and I don't think anybody's really educating you about these things. So I'm going to get that for you on the weekend. So look out for that video. Remember, you have to... Hit the notification bell and press all when you hit the notification bell. They'll give you some options because if you don't press all, you're going to miss when we upload videos for you. Take it easy, Trinidad and Tobago. Love you and see you another time.